Hi there, my name is Nina Wallander, and I'm on Layers of Health. Tonight we're talking with Herman Mueller. Herman Mueller is a world leader in the field of psychosomatic medicine. He is transforming our understanding of health through studying the psychosomatic messages of the body-mind. Quantum physicists are proving this mind-body connection to be the emerging health science of this millennium. As the founder and director of the Australasian Institute of Body-Mind Analysis and Psychosomatic Therapy, Herman has achieved international recognition as a true master in this groundbreaking field of work. His hands-on experience of reading thousands of faces and body shapes over the years has resulted in a wealth of knowledge that allows him to understand people's case history without them having to verbally communicate a single word. Using this therapeutic tool, he shows others how to achieve freedom from their physical, emotional, and mental challenges. An accredited master practitioner in neurolinguistic programming and hypnotherapy, he also has profound knowledge and insight in esoteric science. His teachings help students uncover the blueprint of your soul. Hello, Herman. How are you tonight? Hi. Lovely to be on the program with you. Thank you. And it's such an honor to be able to be communicating with so many people all around our planet on this lovely, beautiful day here in Australia. Thank you, Herman. I'd like to begin by asking you, what is psychosomatic therapy? Psychosomatic therapy is an opportunity to experience the very deepest essence of your being. It's a combination of the psyche, which is your spirit and your soul, and how delicately that consciousness is woven into every cell and atom of our existence, which is our physical body, which we call the soma. So psyche soma means the understanding and the cooperation of both body, soul, and spirit. And in order to be able to really fine-tune into that, we are learning to let go of many life experiences and inherited genetics that we have so that we get more and more in tune with the very essence of who we are so that we can work closer with our soul to fulfill its purpose on earth. That's a, that's a huge answer. <laughs> Well, it's a lifelong journey, mm -hmm. and we a journey that must continue because evolution, evolution continues constantly and is everlasting, and there's no end. So I would encourage people around me and those who are listening now that enjoy the journey because we, what, what fun is it when the journey ends? then we miss out on all the fun of being a human being and enjoying life itself. So the purpose is to be able to enjoy every moment of your life, but as consciously and with a purpose and a special meaning. And that special meaning comes from within us and not outside. Now, so that must be where the idea of the training comes in because um, so, so what are the main points when when you're teaching it seems like a big concept to try and teach people so how do you how do you train that well we have to in order for the trainer to be able to understand the essence of it they have to come inside their own essence to be able to express with the truth and essence of who they are so we have already about 30 teachers and we're gradually building more and more teachers around the planet so that this message that is so useful at this very special time where we're all seeking uh, to express ourselves better and express the very purpose of being here so we have greater harmony in life, we have to find that harmony within us. So there's three basic principles and how we apply those principles is the technique that we use in the different levels in which we give you an opportunity to participate in experiences. Mm -hmm. And the three basic principles are focus, 
balance and structure. The focus is the training that we give each person who participates the opportunity to bring their mind and organize their mind to do what your will or your spirit or your intent focuses it on and train that mind to listen to you so that you may not be distracted by its magical, mercurial way of jumping from one thing to the other. Yes. So the discipline of the mind gives you the full focus of your energy on what it is directed to do and therefore achieves it with much greater efficiency and uses much less of your own energy. That makes a lot that, of sense. You know, just if that you focus. reduces a lot of stress. Yeah. If you're going to achieve what it is you want to achieve, you have to focus on it. Is that kind so, of what you're saying? Very true. So that if I have to do a, a particular, a follow through a particular intent, if I give it 100%, it takes much less of my energy than, and I do it much faster and quicker mm -hmm. than if that same uh, intent has to be followed through and achieved with only 20% of it while 80% is distracted by so many other things on my mind or so many other distractions. Yes. So we attract all that energy to something most attractive. So we start this process by looking at the most attractive and most beautiful thing on earth. What do you think that would be? Uh, since we're talking body-mind, I would have to say the body. I would say the human being and the soul that is looking at you that lives in that body, and the best way to find the most beautiful thing in a body is to look into the eyes. Oh, The yeah. eyes of the soul that, that are truly the very essence. And whenever you look straight into the eyes of another person and allow your own beautiful being to tingle all over your body and feel the beauty of who you are, that energy doesn't need words. That presence is a vibration, it's a light. The light of the sun, the solar logos, or the, the creator of the solar system, or the energy of the solar system, the light that is transmitted between your eyes and passes through that light that is between us and enters the eyes of the other person, recognizes the spirit and the soul within itself. I was going to well, ask you about that. The most spiritual experience ever. I was going to ask you about that. I was going to ask you because, and maybe I'll share it with the listeners, but one of the reasons why I asked you to be a speaker on this series is because when I first met uh, Herman, there is a particular light in his eyes, and that part, it's very remarkable, and it's unmistakable, and it's not seen always. Why isn't that, why don't we always see that? That's very easy to do because we can't focus our mind because as soon as we see something, the mind gets activated by all the other things it's picking up and doesn't focus straight into the eyes and picks up facial features. In the peripheral vision, there's so much more input that's going through the eyes to the cerebral cortex and stimulating, stimulating chemical responses to your emotional brain, and so you're emotionally also distracted by the vibrational frequencies of the surrounding uh, what's in your peripheral vision. So the training is to keep that vision focused in the very eyes of the other person. The peripheral vision exists because I am part of the world, but what is, I'm looking at is something very unique, and that is the soul of another person. Wow. That really make, brings the sparkle into your own eyes. That's the special feeling that the person is, feels within themselves that makes that other person at home because we are on common 